Yeah, that's true. And uh, I mean, to to give people more context on why we actually wanted to to do these reactions and look at uh, videos of of other other people or other groups doing our our dances, um, because we've come across. I mean, I, I think the first video that we had. I, I don't know. They, maybe they might have been Igorot. I'm not really sure. But um, people who are not Igorot and and they're just doing, um, let's just say, interesting versions of our dances, and um, passing it off as authentic, and, <laughs> and saying that they're authentic as well. So, um, not the biggest fan of that. I don't know if anybody else here is. Uh, and yeah, it's whether I don't know whether it's just uh, being aware of of what is uh, uh, traditional or not, uh, and and doing a better job of educating uh, on our dances and everything. I don't know if that's that's what we need to do, but um, as Igorots, but yeah. yeah, that's that's why we wanted to do these reactions. But um, unfortunately, the the one I really wanted to do is is <laughs> has now been privated, and we can't really can't really uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the real really video we wanted to, to to react to. Yeah, yeah unfortunately. so just adding more context. Yeah, so that I won't name the name, but like the, the video that we, we had seen, um, they represented themselves. Uh, I don't want to pull the uh, rat them well, out. You know? well, <laughs> that's, a, that's a thing. Like with these, some of these videos, we don't know Hello? what their background is, right? We don't know if, if, if they are Igorot and they're just trying to learn or. Mm. Are just blatantly um, trying Hello? to pass themselves self off. Yeah, we hear you, Jay. Mm -hmm. Hi, Jay. <laughs> the one we wanted to do, they were just. I mean, it was pretty blatant what they're trying to do. Um, trying to pass themselves off as as uh, authentic, um, authentically Igorot, yeah. and doing authentic Igorot dances. I mean, fine, they're doing dances, but I mean, they should really. They should really state that you know it's it's more interpretive what they're doing, not not saying that they are from these regions. Um, exactly, know. yeah. And so, like, uh, yeah, the the video they they were claiming to be uh, from a certain region, um, and then they claim themselves to be of one of those of of the tribe, <laughs> and they weren't yeah. from that area and so i think this is going back to what we discussed last time as well that there are some folks even from the philippines who don't realize that um our culture is alive you know and and that we're still doing our traditional dances and we are still, our communities are still strong. And um, for some reason, some people feel like, uh, feel the need that they can represent us without kind of like, I don't know, communicating with people from the area in a sense, and or even asking if it was okay. And that's a little bit of trouble. Um, because Again, it goes back down to people who watch the video uh, thinking that, hey, that they're from this area, and is that what they do? And it just seems that's inauthentic to me. <laughs> exactly. So I think, I mean, um, yeah, I, I think it's pretty obvious how, how we all feel here. <laughs> um, yeah. But for whoever, whoever is watching, I mean, just... I'm curious as well. Uh, what do you think about uh, other these other groups um, claiming that they are like Igorots um, and claiming that they're the same... Ifugao or Kalinga mm -hmm. or Mountain Province, you know? Yeah, and at the same time doing doing um, quote unquote our dances and saying that these are these are authentic. Um, yeah, I'm wondering what other people think about that. I mean, again. Um, with these other groups, sometimes it's hard to know uh, where they're coming from. 
Um, but there are some groups in particular that are pretty questionable in my eyes, at least. So. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, it's a real shame that that video wasn't up cuz I'd I'd <laughs> love to critique it. But I think the first video you showed kind of has the spirit of that <laughs> of, their, of that video that we were trying to access. Definitely the yeah. first one has that element of it kind of mm -hmm. just uh right. It has some entertainment value, but come on. Right, but I I I think those guys are 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 what do you call it? They're a little bit ignorant to what they're doing so they're i mean they're a little bit a little bit more innocent but like yeah who knows right. what can who knows really what's what's going on there right they're 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 not claiming to be igor people and i don't think so so i mean that 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 is quite different than than a group that says that they are they are the uh reincarnation of of what was <laughs> once there you know that that that's a little bit wacky. You know, like, hey, what if, <laughs> you know, what if, what if I say that I'm the reincarnation of like the, uh, of 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 the Neanderthals? You know, like, <laughs> which are, you, <laughs> you know, I mean, come on, man, I mean, really? I mean, that's a group that's really extinct, right? Come on, man. I mean, that just is a little bit wacky uh, to me. Well, but it's like I, I, it's. It would be like us because we're living in native, you know, Native American lands. Say all of a sudden doing their dances and trying to say that we're them. You know what I mean? <laughs> that yeah. wouldn't fly, man. That wouldn't fly at all. I have an even better example because uh, yeah. <laughs> I think back in like 2015, 14 or something like that. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, I got, I got so into like Maori culture, but like, I, I, I was so into, um, just watching Hakka videos on YouTube. Uh, I, there's a video where we went camping, like my, my youth group went camping and I got me and a bunch of kids to do a Hakka as well. So that's like a blatant, blatant example of what, uh, what we're discussing now, as well as the past podcast mm -hmm. on cultural appropriation that's like a blatant example so if if you want to talk about uh like cultural appropriation and that like that's that i am that like i literally well because you know for me it's out of respect that i was like oh yeah it's interested in uh maori culture mm -hmm. and then me doing the hack because i think the hack is cool and whatnot but at the same time i was really ignorant in that time and i was really stupid um because i'm not maori um, even though I have that intent to like share, it, it was it was more so just for performance, and I, I do I do acknowledge that that it was it was just merely just for for show, and it's very. Um, oh wow! I mean, it's cool. like it's like this, right? And I do this all the time. Oh yeah, yeah that, that too. But, <laughs> but the thing is, you know, you're not claiming that you're you're Maori or anything like that. Yeah, I mean, that, yeah, that's. I mean, that's a big line that that um, I guess some of these groups have, have mm -hmm. stepped over. So I think that, that that's a big difference. Yeah, it's yeah, true. Yeah. There's appropriation everywhere. Yoga, um, like that's huge, huge. But I, the biggest thing about appropriation is you, you. It's I mean, it's like I mean, it's appropriation if it if it really is cultural pla plagiarism, where you're not giving credit to where you got it from, and oftentimes. When we do the dances or the celebrations of other people, it's through the invitation of a person who's actually has this is their lived experience. Exactly. So if you you look at like the, all those hula people, and uh, you know, like the majority of them are like Filipino, right? But uh, <laughs> well, at least over here. <laughs> uh, yeah, but true. they and oftentimes they, they they had a teacher. Mm -hmm. They had a exactly. teacher with exactly. the authentic roots, and they and that teacher welcomed them in. It exactly. that was the same way with certain martial arts. Uh, and, I, and I think the how I can tie into my experience with with the Hakka and how we're seeing this is the fact that for me when I was like making that when when I was performing that initially, um, it was kind of in, in a closed environment where it was only my friends who were seeing it or my Facebook my Facebook friends. Same way in 
in those videos that they performed in those uh, like Igor dances, I, I I do think that they had in mind that oh no no Igor's gonna see this just the same way as when I was doing the haka. It's okay because I know no real Mauer is gonna see this. Even though even though like you know I I didn't really have that in mind. I was like oh nobody's watching you know, but it, it's kind of like not in the back of my mind. It was it is it, it's the result. It's the result because you know nobody called me out therefore. I got to do it, you know. What I, mean? I, th I think that's definitely like a factor into it. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense because, like, mm. like I said, most Filipinos don't even know we still exist. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, or even practice more, more like practice our traditions. Exactly. I think we're just, you know, like we said before, maybe most of them think that we just know country music. We replaced our culture with country music. Yeah, that we could, got completely uh, colonized. But that specific group. That we were talking about, which we will not name. <laughs> they, they do know Igorot people, right? They do. They know my cousin. Well, uh, they. I'm pretty sure they've been approached multiple times. Um, yeah. Um, by at least the Bebuck organization members, and from at least from what I've gathered and from talking to people, they haven't really been responding. So. Mm. I don't know. Mm. We're trying to reach out to some of these groups, and they don't respond. I mean, what what are we supposed to do? <laughs> they did Maybe take they... off their video. Uh, yeah, I mean, it would be it'd be interesting to see what what the reason was for them um, privating that video, but you can only guess. Maybe maybe people are thinking like, you know, like how people are becoming part of like hip hop culture. <laughs> so people are just they're seeing us uh, Igor culture as something that's just as open as that you know what I mean and they just want to be a part of it so they just I don't know that's just I'm just coming up with a weird theory here I don't know uh, I, it's hard to explain why why they would do that even though they they know Igor folks and Igor folks aren't taking too kindly about it. So. Well, yeah, why, why is it okay for us to uh, integrate in hip-hop culture, like us participating or performing hip-hop, but it's not okay for them to participate and um, perform Igorot stuff? What's the difference? I, is it because there's more black people? <laughs> I don't know. You know, like... Right, yeah. Hip hop culture transformed, starting in the inner cities, and then like becoming more and more accessible, and people mm -hmm. took onto the culture because they felt they feel like it's a form of expression. Mm -hmm. So maybe well, they're it's seeing, definitely sorry. Maybe it's they're seeing egoism mm -hmm. as being egoist is a form of expression versus an actual culture. I mean, actual people. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. sorry, Jay. Go ahead. No, no, I mean, I, I think that, especially with the, like, like having a tribal identity, that that really resonates with a lot of people, that feeling of being part of something that's unique and special and strong. And so I think that that's what Igor people can represent for some people, you know, just like hip hop culture mm -hmm. yeah. uh, already raises the stream of consciousness, especially in urban culture all over the place. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it's part of the identity. I mean, there's a certain way that you, especially in your different regions, there's a certain way that you talk. And there's a certain way that, uh, you know, you, uh, your, your vibe in there. And also that perhaps that tribal identity is something that, you know, just gives people, you know, a greater sense of like meaning and purpose. So, I mean, it's hard to say because like, I'm not yearning to be like that because that's just kind of like what, what you know what i was born into and and we kind of like find ways to live authentically in it but i, th I mm -hmm. think for someone maybe who feels that that's missing in in their lives and they they have to kind of create it um i i could see where you know there's something kind of like um appealing to that uh so um who knows maybe maybe we need to get someone who who uh who that's their lived experience and they can speak to it. Um, yeah, because for me, like uh, the reason why I performed that haka 
was because I did have a genuine interest in it. And if, mm. if someone has a genuine interest in like your culture, then that's all well and good. They just need to be more educated, just like how I need to be more educated in my culture, right? Or like, I, I shouldn't even do it. <laughs> but uh, mm. in terms of like when, when we see these dance videos, and I, I, I do kind of feel like uh, these are performed because it's part of a set, you know what I mean? Where it's forced that, oh yeah, because we're having Filipino and I, let's let's perform uh, a Negro thing because, you know, it's just, if it's performed in a way where it's kind of just like a second thought, then that's kind of not okay. Um, but if, if there is an, a genuine interest and they do want to learn, and this is like their first step of doing it because they do want to like perform, but they want to do more, then that's cool. So, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah.